How has starting a granola company built upon your previous food industry experience? I felt like I, I went into the granola company with a bit of an advantage because I used to be on the other side when I had my store. So um, I, was the, I used to be the buyer. And the granola was on the menu at my store, but I never, never thought it was going to be a product. I just thought it was going to be a menu item. So I used to go to the fancy food show as a buyer, and I would visit the booths. I would get a bird's eye view of all the different kinds of booths. I remembered what drew me in, what, um, what um, was like the hook that made me want to buy. You know, did they have a special going on at the show? Did they have um, like free shipping? Did they have uh, you know, free samples that they sent with their product? Did they have neat packaging, you know, um, little things like that. So I did that for a few years. So I got really comfortable with, you know, being a buyer and interacting with other buyers and finding out what was important to buyers and also seeing what it was out there in terms of competition and flavors and just, you know, you really got a feel for the market. So then when I flipped roles and I was the producer, it wasn't like I was going to the fancy food show for the first time, even though I was going for the first time as a vendor, I was comfortable with the show. I knew what it was going to be like. And I felt like I went in with a little more ammunition than someone that might be going there for the first time, never seeing it. And so I think that helped me to attack things a little um, more creatively. And I was smart. I think I had a smarter approach, you know, with the whole thing. Like I was one of the only people that was out there just aggressively sampling my product to people, which drew people in, having an engaging booth, that sort of thing. What's been the most humbling experience to date building your granola company? Well, I would say my experience with the fresh market was incredibly humbling. I thought, um, so the fresh market picked, picked us up after the first fancy food show. And that was huge. That was, you know, they, they were my first large account. They were a hundred stores. Um, they were going to put me in all of their stores. And, you know, right off the bat, I was thinking, okay, well, I've made it, you know, it's, it's coasting from now. I've got, you know, sure. I've got to figure out how we're going to, you know, amp up, ramp up production. But, you know, I think financially speaking, it's, it's going to be a cakewalk and we're just going to, so, um, after, so I was with them for about a year and then I got a, my friends used to go and take pictures of my product at their local fresh market. And I got a picture from one of my friends and it showed, she's like, oh look, your, your granola's on sale. And I looked at the little tag and it said, um, it, says, it said something like clearance or like last chance or something. And I just kind of like, you know, like, what does that mean? So I started asking people, what does this mean? Are you guys discontinuing my, my product? What's going on? And after about trying everybody under the sun that I ever came into contact with, I finally got an answer and they said they were discontinuing the product, saying it was a very good product, but you know, the category just didn't sell. And, you know, I felt like, I felt like I didn't really get a fair chance because I tried to do promotional things, but you know, you're, you can't just like... <laughs> You can't just like feel like you know they pick you up and then you're you're immune from from you know being voted off the island or <laughs> the proverbial <laughs> island you know I mean even if you have a good product it doesn't necessarily matter because I'm still confident it's a good product I don't think that's the issue I think there's some other underlying issues you know that it's a saturated market you're not safe from any of that stuff so you know I tried not to. It hurt, it stung like hell, but you know, you can't take it too personally. You've got to pick up and just take another angle, which is why, you know, I'm now focusing on this bulk thing because the grocery stores are tough and they don't care about you. They really don't. They, they want to, they don't care about your product or you or the person behind the product or, you know, what it's going to do to you financially or. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Tough lesson. Yeah. Very tough. Very tough.